For 42 years, Stephen Bowden walked through the gates of Bucksport's paper mill, punched a time clock, and went to work coating paper. Bowden is a second generation paper maker. For his generation, it's the end of the line. It was a shock to hear that yesterday. It really was. Verso Paper announced Wednesday that it's shutting down this mill in two months. 550 people will lose their jobs. Frank Dunbar will lose a lot of customers. He's been a barber on Main Street for 52 years. His father was a paper maker. The mill, says Dunbar, isn't just a business, it's family. I didn't sleep last night. And my son-in-law, who's just here, I mean, he tried to talk to me today over the phone. He was in tears. Bucksport is hurting, but the economic impact of the mill closure will reach far beyond this small coastal community. Mill employees here in Bucksport come from all 16 counties. People from you know, Lincoln, people from uh, Auburn uh, you know, are traveling here every day to go to work. And says Milan, the mill supports thousands of jobs in other industries statewide, logging, trucking, retail. But not everyone here is in mourning. It's not a mill town. It's a town with a mill in it. And now it's a town without a mill in it. And this could be a really, really good opportunity for an industry, a business, something big to move in. Right now, though, there's no big business standing by to replace those jobs. Maine's Department of Labor Rapid Response Team is stepping in to provide information on job retraining programs but that's not enough to take away the worry. I do have a, a son that works there now who has four children that, uh, you know, he came to my house this morning, he's, he's devastated. Workers and their families have two months to let the bad news sink in and figure out their futures. The mill is scheduled to close on December 1st. In Bucksport, Susan Kimball, Portland Press-Herald.